Hello everyone and welcome in one more important video. In this video we are going to learn very very important point regarding every examination. This is important for all exams like GET, CSIER NET, ICAR NET and even for MSc and BSc examination. In this video we are going to learn models of DNA replication. We will understand models of DNA replication and in next videos we will see related topics to this DNA replication. So please watch this video and upcoming videos because we will solve many numerical logical questions specifically part C question in my next videos after completing the theoretical part in these videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thereby you will get my next videos too. To understand models of replication you should know some terms that we will see first. The first is DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. What is DNA? It is a double standard self replicating genetic material present within a cell and it is responsible for functioning and development of our organism. Now, what is replication? It is a process of duplicating the DNA molecule and exact and same copy of DNA molecule is formed that is from parent molecule, daughter DNA molecule, exact same DNA molecule is formed. So let us understand uh, mod modes of DNA replication or models of DNA replication. We know Watson and Crick discovered the double helical structure of DNA but after this discovery everyone was talking and was thinking on replication process of DNA. Many scientists started to work on replication process and many tried to find a correct process of DNA replication. It was a big question for all how DNA which is double uh, helical structure is replicated. Scientists worked and put forward their logical models of DNA replication that is hypothesis. In these hypothesis three models were accepted by many scientists and these three models were top in, in all hypothesis. Those three models were conservative model of DNA replication, semi-conservative model of DNA replication and dispersive model of DNA replication. Now we will see first model in detail conservative model of DNA replication. This model was called as conservative model but do you know why word meaning of conservation is preservation to conserve means to preserve. So what is conserved and preserved in this model? You might be having the same questions as this student on screen is having questions like does this model conserve anything? Why did scientists name it conservative model. You might be having the same questions like this student. So let us understand and find out the answers. In this model according to scientists and their hypothesis all that is parent DNA molecule directs the synthesis of exactly same new DNA molecule. So at the end of replication process one DNA molecule is old and one is newly formed. This model was not proved experimentally and that is why it is hypothesis only. So look at the figure, molecule is replicating the DNA molecule in blue color it is parent DNA molecule that is DNA to be replicated and it is old DNA molecule. After replication take a note that two DNA molecules are formed one is uh, one it is blue in color and uh, second one it is orange in color means one um, after replication one dna molecule is old and one is newly formed means old dna molecule has entire dna molecule served as template and it detected the synthesis of new dna molecule so complete conservation preservation occurs and parent dna molecule that is why it is called as conservative model of DNA replication. Remember it is a hypothetic DNA replication model because no one proved it experimentally. Now second uh, model of DNA replication it is semi-conservative DNA, DNA replication model as name is suggesting not complete conservation previous preservation occurs but semi means half conservation occurs of all parent DNA molecule that is why it is called as semi-conservative. How semi-conservative conservation occurs we will see in next few minutes. According to this hypothesis during replication process two strands of parent DNA molecule get separated and each separated single strand serve as template strand for the synthesis of new DNA molecule. Therefore in newly formed DNA molecule one strand is from old DNA and one is newly synthesized. Both DNA formed in replication process carry one old and one new strand means 50% is old and 50% newly synthesized DNA as 
आउट ऑफ टू स्टैंड स्टैंड वन स्टैंड ऑफ ओल्ड एन ए मॉलिक्यूल सर्व एज टेम्पलेट एंड इज कंजर्व दिस मॉडल इज कॉल एज सेमी कंजर्वेटिव मॉडल लुक एट द फिगर यू कैन सी स्टैंड आर सेपरेटिंग डी एन ए टू बी रेप्लीकेटेड दो दिस डी एन ए स्टैंड दे आर सेपरेट सेपरेटिंग एंड इज सेपरेटेड स्टैंड इट इज सर्विंग एज ए टेम्पलेट फॉर द डी एन फॉर द सिंथिस ऑफ न्यू डी एन ए मॉलिक्यूल यू कैन सी इन द फिगर now newly synthesized dna it contains two strand one is old that is blue in color and one is new both or uh, dna they contain one new and one old strand this model was widely accepted and this hypothetical model was proved ex experimentally so it was not hypothesis it was proved experimentally and was found correct scientists meselson and stahl performed the experiment and proved this hypothesis remember this hypothesis was put forwarded by watson and crick but they couldn't prove it experimentally meselson and stahl proved it experimentally and therefore this is accepted as true model of dna replication now third model it is dispersive model according to this mod hypothetic model the dna to be replicated is not conserved no conservation occurs else dispersion occurs here now to disperse meaning to scatter spread and distribute now how dispersion occur and what gets scattered we'll see you might be thinking this what gets scattered so we'll see according to this hypothetic model the dna to be replicated is broken down in small pieces and these small pieces of dna get dispersed and new fragments are synthesized in between these scattered and dispersed frag fragments this dispersion occurs randomly and as a result we get a hybrid dna at the end of replication both dna are hybrid in nature hybrid means some part is from old dna and some part is newly synthesized in each dna molecule as shown in the figure look at the figure now dna to be replicated it has uh, undergone uh, this dna molecule it has been broken down and small fragments they are randomly dispersed and between these fragments new dna strands have been synthesized so hybrid dna they have been formed look at the figure you might be uh, um, you you might be having question where is hybrid dna so look at the figure some blue part and some orange part is there that is hybrid dna some part is from old dna strand and some part is from newly synthesized that is orange in color okay so this is all about the uh, dear models of dna replication i hope this video helps you in understanding the models of dna replication so please like the video subscribe my channel to get my next videos which will help you in many ways thank you